Hey, y'all. I uh, haven't been here for a while, but we've had some big moves in our lives, uh, including moving. And uh, I'll have to show you uh, videos of my new apartment when I get it organized. I'm Betty Horn. Welcome to my channel. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. You can comment and I'd love to hear what you have to say. Um, and we are um, doing gospel glimpses. I don't know what number I'm on, so this one might just have to be titled Gospel Glimpses and we'll just pick up on the numbers next time around. Uh, I have been listening to a book called uh, Your Day Spring Rising. I believe that's the title of the book. Uh, and uh, it's by Jeffrey R. Holland, and it's narrated by Jeffrey R. Holland. So it's like listening to him, one of his talks. And he, what he's doing here, he's going through the Gospels. He's going through, starting with Matthew, and it's like he's following the Come Follow Me program. And um, right now we're on... Uh, I'm on, I'm on uh, Matthew, Matthew, I can't talk, Matthew 14. But I am very impressed with a particular story that he tells. He tells, you know, he's telling about the, the parables of Christ and so on. But there's one story that he talks about, about Peter walking on the water and how people... Uh, criticize him for his lack of faith and, and so on. And, and uh, Elder Holland points out that he was just a young disciple. He had, he, his faith had not been tried by the fire that it would be later. And um, I am just very impressed that he got out there to start with. And to me, that's a lesson to all of us. Just get out there. Just do it. We, we can't just sit in a boat. Sometimes we have to get out and walk on the water. Sometimes we have to be the ones that do the work. Uh, in fact, that's required of us. And uh, I just love the idea of of um, of Peter taking a chance. And even when he took the chance and he failed in his faith, he still knew that the Lord was going to save him. At least he had that much trust. He had enough trust to reach up to the Savior and say, "Help me." instead of drowning. How many of us drown rather than seek help? Anyway, that's my gospel glimpse. And I love that book. And I love Matthew. I love the gospels. I love the scriptures. And I love my Savior. And, uh, I leave you with that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.